Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about throw away your calculator, how to do the math in MS Excel or Microsoft Excel. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866 945 8070 for information about private trainings. We always record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. So what can you do with Excel? Well, for one thing, you can throw away your calculator because Excel will do all that for you. It's very easy to do calculations in Excel. If I want to add two numbers, one plus two, I put the numbers in there in a column usually. I can put them across too, right? I can put three and four, five and six. You can add e in any direction, right? So I just have to type a sum. So equals, let's Excel know I'm about to put in a formula. Let me enlarge this so it's easier for some of the older folks out there to see. Just kidding. I love you, mom and dad. So I type an equal sign, and I type the word sum, and I open up a parenthesis. Because I've told Excel now I'm going to add something up. And the parentheses says, I'm going to give you the range. I'm going to tell you what range of cells to add. And now I can use my mouse. I'm going to grab my mouse and I'm going to click. And I can even start above where the number starts, just in case I want to insert a number up there and include everything leading right up to the two, but not including the total itself. And then I close my parentheses and hit enter, and it adds it. Over here, leave a degree of separation equals sum. Open parentheses. Same process. That's how you sum it. Now, of course, you might want to format these a little differently so you know you're looking at a total. That's here in your standard formatting options. There's a total format, right? So it's very easy to sum, very easy to add numbers. If I want to subtract numbers, also easy to do. 100, 65 equals, use the mouse, point to that, minus that, enter. There's my difference, 35. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can never do with a calculator or even a 10 key. And I used to get into arguments with my supervisors at my first job working for the government as an auditor at United Government Services. Um, they didn't understand why I didn't use a 10 key. I didn't understand why they didn't use Excel. Because the problem with the 10 key is if I have this piece of tape and I realize I keyed a number wrong, I have to re-key that whole tape. In Excel, all I have to do is change the one number that I keyed wrong, 64.95. And boom, my calculation's up to date. Never understood it, never will. Uh, I don't know if they're still around, I hope they've figured out the whole Excel thing by now. Because I was, it was killing me. It was killing me. And they used to get annoyed with me, people. Anyway, very easy to subtract numbers. Labeling is important, right? Especially if you're subtracting so it's clear. I like to put less, this way I know it's 100 less 64.95. Difference, right? So I get it. Labels are very important, especially if you're putting the other numbers that you're going to present to somebody else. Do some labeling. Make sure people know what you're talking about. Total, less 64.95 difference. Right? I love to use the sales tax example, right? $100. Sales tax rate is 8.25%. And now I can be efficient because I can say, all right, well, 100 Right? I hit equals. Now I'm using my arrow keys, by the way, instead of the mouse. Notice there's like a kind of grading that goes around the cell. That's what I'm pointing to. So 100. Now, if I want to just quickly add 8.25% of 100 back to the 100, then now, it's, we're taught, now we're getting into some advanced mathematics here. So the original amount plus, or actually, no, times, open parentheses, 1 plus, the sales tax rate. Of course, that didn't work because it read this as uh, not what I wanted it to be. This should be 8.25%. See, it read it as 825%. 8.25%. And then we have to format it properly. Percentage, increase the decimals. Right, so now I get my 108.25. Now, and that's just for your sales tax rate. And if, again, labels, 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 right? Total sales tax. And by the way, now you know how to multiply. How did I do it with the asterisk? It's not an asterisk. It's an asterisk. Okay? These things count. You sound intelligent when you call it an asterisk. You do not sound intelligent when you call it an asterisk. 
Asterix. <laughs> Just kidding. So, basic arithmetic, very easy. What haven't we done? We haven't divided anything. So let's say I have 100 apples. Have 100 apples. Want to divide them into five groups. Need five groups. How many apples in each group? Okay, let's widen the column. To widen the column, top of the column, right extreme, double click. Makes it as wide as it needs to be to fit the widest thing in the column. Easy way to describe it. I like that. So I need five groups. How many apples in each group? Equals. Total number of apples divided by the number of groups is apples per group. 20 apples per group. Right? Apples, groups. How did I do the divided by? I used the forward slash. The forward slash is you're divided by an Excel. That, my friends, is how you start doing basic arithmetic in Excel. Stay tuned because I'm just getting warmed up here. I'm tired of QuickBooks, so I'm getting into some Excel. I'm just getting warmed up. Keep coming back. It works if you work it. I'm going to show you how to do some pretty cool stuff in Excel over the coming weeks. And then I'll probably do a live webinar so I can take your money. No, I'm just kidding, but I will do a live webinar and I will charge for it. But I'll show you some really cool stuff. I'll teach you some things that you're going to walk away with, a changed man or woman, because you will now have skills that you didn't have before, which you can use to earn money yourself. As always, send me your questions to Seth at NerdEnterprises.com or call me at 866-945-8070 if you want direct prompt online help where I log in with you. I send you a link. You share your screen. You do the work in Excel. I coach you through how to do it. And then you have a recording to watch afterwards of everything that we went over, both on screen and audio. So I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.